Do you know El Chino Anthrax, a drug lord and hitman most well known as one of the high-ranking members of the Sinaloa cartel? How did he become to be the highest ranked hitman for a criminal group like the Sinaloa cartel? Today we'll put a light on the El Chino Anthrax criminal bio, early life, controversies, lesser known facts, and more. So stay tuned and watch until the end. Jose Rodrigo Arechiga Gamboa, also known as El Chino Anthrax, was a Mexican drug lord, professional hitman, and high-ranking member of the Sinaloa Cartel, a criminal organization located in Sinaloa. The Sinaloa Cartel is a powerful multinational organized crime syndicate focused on drug trafficking and money laundering. The CDS, Guzman Loera Organization, Pacific Cartel, Federation, and Blood Alliance are some of its other names. It was created as one of several subordinate plazas under the Guadalajara cartel in late 1980s Mexico. It is currently headquartered in Culiacán, Sinaloa, Mexico, but it has numerous foreign activities. The Sinaloa cartel is largely regarded as the most powerful drug trafficking group in the world, possibly even more powerful and capable than Colombia's finest Medellin cartel during its peak. El Chino Anthrax, among his many talents, was best known for being the highest ranking hitman for the Sinaloa cartel. He was also a founding member of Los Anthrax, an armed enforcement organization that guarded Sinaloa cartel leader Ismael El Mayo Zambada and his sons. On December 30th, 2013, he was arrested at Amsterdam Airport Schiphol in the Netherlands at the request of the United States, which contacted Interpol to arrest him on drug trafficking accusations. On July 10th, 2014, he was extradited to the United States. He went missing on May 9, 2020 after being sentenced to house arrest. On May 15, 2020, he returned to Culiacan, Sinaloa where he was discovered dead alongside his sister and brother-in-law. Who actually was El Chino Anthrax before joining the Sinaloa cartel? How was his early life? Jose Rodrigo Arechiga Gamboa, also known as El Chino Anthrax, was born on June 15, 1980 in Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. El Chino Anthrax criminal hobbies as per the reports were reading, photography, learning, traveling, and internet browsing. Later, El Chino began working for the Sinaloa cartel in 2008 as a bodyguard for Vincent Zambada Naebla, son of Ismael El Mayo Zambada. Following the separation of the Sinaloa organization and the Beltran Levea cartel that year, he went on to organize Los Anthrax, an armed squadron of the Sinaloa cartel, for providing armed security services to El Mayo Zambada. On November 4, 2008, an armed commando opened fire at a car wash in Culiacan, almost killing him. Los Anthrax lost one of his members in the attack, Alfredo Vizcara Vega, the son of the Sinaloa police chief. During the shootout, Arechiga Gamboa apparently escaped unharmed. Following the arrest of Zimbara Neebla in March 2009, the drug lord reached the top of the Sinaloa cartel due to his closeness with one of El Mayo Zimbara's sons. In 2008, he co-founded Los Anthrax with another drug lord known as Rene Velasquez Valenzuela. He was also known as Phoenix Anthrax, Vladi Portillo, the Russian El Gato Negro known as Black Cat, and El Taliban who was captured by the Mexican army same year and in prison in Agaruto, Sinaloa. Among the first gang leaders to be killed in a major gunfight was Riddell Castro, alias El Potro Anthrax, with rival members of the Beltran Levea cartel in Tubatama, Sonora in June 2010. The Mexican army arrested, tortured, and executed three members of Los Anthrax in May 2011 after mistaking them for kidnappers. Los Anthrax is a large enforcer unit and hit squad for the Sinaloa cartel, a major crime organization based in Sinaloa, Mexico. They are also responsible for a number of homicides, as well as providing Ismael El Mayo Zambada with armed security. The gang operates in Culiacan, Sinaloa, capital city, where its members commit homicides and violent attacks. Los Anthrax is the Sinaloa cartel's most powerful and deadly enforcer unit. In November of the same year, rival gangsters of Los Mazatrecos murdered Francisco Archie Rubio, also known as Pancho Archie, another high-ranking gang leader connected to El Chino Anthrax, at an indoor soccer game in Culiacan. Following Archie Rubio's death, El Mayo Zambada removed El Chino Anthrax from Los Anthrax's day-to-day -day operation until he could settle things out. However, the gang's attacks continued. In February 2010, Ropo Landoros, also known as Ropec Anthrax, was killed with three other men in Culiacan. According to local media, the executions were a result of an internal power struggle inside the Sinaloa cartel, specifically a group led by El Chapo Guzman. 
The Office of the General Prosecutor and the Secretariat of Public Security in Mexico have identified several other officials in the El Chino Anthrax hierarchy. Jess P., also known as L20, is thought to be close friends of the drug lord. Others include a man named Malesio, also known as El Mele, and El Traca Anthrax, who officials believe is the gang's recruiter. A Eusebio Imperial, or Elicio Castro, Properly known as El Cayo Anthrax, was arrested on April 16, 2012, along with a man known as El Monkey and El Changuiro, the former finance chief of Los Anthrax. Between 2011 and 2013, the drug lord lived in Los Cabos, Baja California, and led Los Anthrax against the local criminal organization Los Zetas. On October 18, 2013, while in Los Cabos, Arechiga Gamboa allegedly ordered the assassination of Francisco Rafael Ariano Felix, a former Tijuana cartel boss. According to the PGR, the reason could have stemmed from Arenio Felix's involvement in money laundering activities, as well as a message from the Los Anthrax indicating that they were in charge of organized crime in Los Cabos. Authorities in Baja California have identified two probable drug lord murderers. Noe Castro, also known as R1, Arechiga Gamboa's right-hand man in Los Cabos, and a man who goes by the nickname R13. On January 3, 2014, the Netherlands Ministry of Security and Justice and the Mexican Embassy in the country confirmed that on December 30, 2013, a 33-year-old Mexican citizen was arrested by Dutch police as he arrived from Latin America at Amsterdam Airport in the Netherlands using a false name. Initially, officials did not provide any information about the detainee's name, but an unidentified U.S. federal agent and Mexican local newspaper released information to the public, revealing that the man was, in fact, Arechia Gamboa. The arrest of the drug lord was formally announced by the U.S. government later that day. According to the authorities, Arechiga Gamboa traveled under the fake name Norboto Sicariros Garcia. At the time of his detention, he had an iPhone 5, a BlackBerry Bold, three plane tickets, Visa and Master credit cards from Banamex, and a Mexican driver's license. He was taken to the Vault Maximum Security Prison after his arrest. Despite the fact that Arechiga Gamboa had used a false identity to travel, undergone plastic surgery to change his look, and altered his fingerprints, U.S. law enforcement was able to identify him using unspecific forensic methods. On January 2, 2014, he came before a judge who spoke with him about his situation and the reasons for his arrest. The Dutch authorities stated that the drug lord was apprehended at the request of the U.S. government, which had called Interpol to help them in arresting the drug lord on drug trafficking charges. They made no touch with Mexican officials. The next day, the United States District Court for the Southern District of California requested an extradition request to send the drug lord to trial in the United States. On January 8, 2014, the United States Treasury Department sanctioned the drug lord under the Foreign Narcotics Kingpin Designation Act, which froze any assets he may have possessed in the United States and effectively barred U.S. citizens from conducting financial or commercial transactions with him. According to the document, Arechiga Gamboa, in addition to working for drug lord El Mayo Zambada, coordinated logistics and drug transportations for El Chapo Guzman and collaborated with Gonzalo Nzunza, also known as El Macho Preto, another Sinaloa cartel high-ranking enforcer who was killed in Sonora in December 2013. The drug lords for whom he worked had previously been sanctioned by the United States government under the Kingpin Act in 2001, 2002, 2009, and 2011. On March 20, 2015, he pled guilty and admitted to participating in cocaine and marijuana shipments from Mexico to the United States, as well as facilitating violent acts for the Sinaloa cartel. Arechiga was sentenced to seven years and three months in federal prison after being detained in the United States for six years. He was discharged and placed under house arrest on March 3, 2020. His probation office reported him missing on May 9th. On the night of May 14, 2020, Rodrigo, his sister, and her husband were at home when they were visited by a Sinaloa cartel kill squad, resulting in a violent shootout with Chino firing back with an automatic assault rifle. His firefight raged until morning when they surrendered and were held hostage by armed men. The next day, authorities in Ayune, Sinaloa, uncovered the black SUV with three dead victims inside. One of them was eventually identified as Jose Rodrigo Arechiga Gamboa. He was shot dead and wrapped in cloth his head covered with a black plastic bag. 
The other two bodies were identified as his sister and her husband. Yuriana Castillo Torres, his romantic partner, was reportedly kidnapped by armed men while walking to her vehicle after leaving a gym in Culiacan, Sinaloa in 2014, and she was later found dead. This concludes the story of the Sinaloa cartel's highest ranking hitmen. What do you guys think of him? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future updates.